Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to make the best fajita seasoning marinade that you've ever had. I'm very blessed to have this recipe because my mother-in-law uh, handed and passed it down to us. So you guys are like family to us and I really wanted to share this with you guys because it's about to be like cookout season. And even if you're not cooking out, you can put this on your, um, on your stove top, grill it, however you want to do it. But let me tell you, this is going to be like bomb.com flavor. I think you guys are going to be really happy. So let me go ahead and show you how to make this. Okay, friends. What I'm going to be using, and I'm going to, I've already washed my meat. Okay. I'm going to slice it to uh, reasonable pieces. I'm going to show you with this one what you can do. If you want smaller pieces to absorb more of the flavor, you can come at a bias and just chop it up. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut these at a bias and it's gonna make it easy. You're gonna get the marinade in every single piece and flavor, which you would the other way too, but I like doing it this way or that way. It looks prettier on the bias. It does look prettier on the bias. Make it comfortable for your home, guys. You can make this with um, with the chuck steak. You can make it with skirt steak. Your choice of beef that you like to grill, okay? Now it's go time. You ready for this? Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> you ready? Okay, so what I'm gonna do, you guys, please make sure to follow the full video before you guys ask questions. You ask me a lot of questions that I discuss on the videos. I know my videos are long. Please take a moment to look in the description area because your recipe is going to be in full detail with ingredients, amounts in the description area. Now that I've said that, let's go ahead and begin pouring. So, soy sauce. Ooh, I have so many selections. I'm excited. <laughs> uh, fresh garlic. White pepper. If you don't have uh, white pepper, go ahead and use a little bit of black pepper. Cumin. Your choice of bouillon. And if you're not using uh, bouillon, I'll put my recommendation in the description area for you some paprika, some chili powder, and that's the Vuce chili powder I'm using, ground ginger, and for this recipe I definitely recommend you use ground ginger. Um, the fresh one is going to change the flavor profile for you guys. And some powdered garlic, okay. I know you guys were saying about my glove usage, but I'm also trying to use less plastic, so me using gloves every time is not a good idea. Plus, I like putting my love into it. And our family is okay with that. Yep, we're all okay with it. So now what you wanna do is you wanna massage. You wanna massage it really well. I know some people were asking how do you massage kale? That's how you massage. <laughs> Just like that. I want to give a special shout out to my bloodline, <laughs> to my husband. You guys, my man works long hours. He travels. He is a wonderful father. He is an exemplary human to me. And I just want to give him a special shout out because he watches uh, on his breaks or lunchtime. He watches our our channel. Woo -woo. <laughs> the Grizzly can't get enough of this voice, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to give a special shout out to my husband. Thank you so much for all that you do for us. We love you. And to all the hardworking uh, men out there and ladies too. Oh, don't, don't feel left out. I always praise you guys. Today it's, it's for these gents that are working hard for their families. You know? And the grandpa's out there still hustling. Yeah, grandpa's you too. Okay. 
You see that color? You already know this is, this is right there in flavor. So if you guys wanna add a little bit of oil here, it's gonna be up to you. That's my meat cracking. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us are not 20 anymore. Cloud's <laughs> getting her yoga moves. Can I, can you sprinkle a little bit in here? Oh, it's gonna put in your little boulder. You, I, get, I get carried away with. No, you, no, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. No, no, just squeeze, uh, squeeze a little bit. Go, squeeze it, squeeze it. Drip, drip. Dale, dale, dale. Girl, give it a good one there. Ah! Perfect. <laughs> so if you guys want to add a little bit of oil in here. <laughs> Cloud's Dude, falling over there. Flip that out. <laughs> Girl, you're falling, but you can get up. Oh, well, yeah. That's because I had green tea and coffee. Really? You want some perky perkies? Yeah, and then I made myself a manzanilla latte. Mmm, a manzanilla latte. Girl, you haven't made me one. They're so good. I'll make I know. Make. It's because my sister's a tea lady, okay? <laughs> she loves tea, and me, I love food. <laughs> Okay, so you can add a little bit of the um, of your oil of choice. I use canola oil, you guys already know that. Um, if you use olive oil, it's gonna change the flavor profile. The same thing for coconut oil, so just make it comfortable for your home. Uh, if you want for this one, if you marinate this overnight, good Lord, good Lord, get ready, because that's exactly how long you need to marinate it. But if you're rushing and you wanna feed your family, uh, marinate it for a good hour, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and marinate this for a good hour because my family is hungry. You guys are gonna be wondering, where are all the bell peppers and the mushrooms? That's gonna be up to you. You know why? Because a recipe I'm gonna have for you guys um, for tomorrow, and I'll go ahead and make a playlist for you guys that says cookout, and that way you guys can go through those recipes. You're gonna see why I'm not gonna be adding bell peppers or mushrooms or onions to this. And plus, when you have this bomb.com flavor, you really don't need anything else but your tortilla. You can even eat it like that. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and marinate this for an hour and I'll see you guys in just a moment. Mira. Ooh. You know, that's the thing. A lot of people wonder, like, how do you marinate, like, um, Mexican style, like, meat? Well, mm -hmm. my mother-in-law, Korean, full-blooded Korean. She brought it. <laughs> she brought it. She brought the flavor here, and I'm so proud of her, and I'm so proud of this recipe. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Sounds good. Okay, it's been a, uh, it's been about an hour, friends. I've been entertaining myself with other things. You're gonna, I think when you're cooking inside your home and you want to make some fajitas, I think the cast iron's probably your best bet. But if you have a nonstick, go ahead and, and go ahead and do your thing, okay? Don't feel left out because you don't have a cast iron or because it's not, um, it's not how it is here. I want you guys to feel confident and get it done. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my first piece. And this is the part where you're gonna make it comfortable for your home. You're gonna cook this. Um, if you like your medium, you know the kids need to have it well done. And that's what I'm gonna be doing to, uh, to these pieces. But it's gonna be up to you on how long you wanna cook it, okay? Alright friends, if you really want to impress the crowd, go ahead and get a little masher, something heavy. Press it down. You don't want to flip it just yet, because that's how you get those grill marks. Without having to do it in the grill, yeah! I got you, I got you. So I'm going to keep cooking it. I'm so sure. I want you guys to look bomb.com at your little barbecue. Okay, friends, it's been about four or five minutes. Now I'm ready to turn it over. Isn't that beautiful? 
Good. And you can go the straight lines, and I'll I'll show you guys here on the next one uh, a different approach that you can take to give it a different kind of uh, grill mark. Okay. So I'll see you guys when I'm ready to put the other piece here. All right, friends, you can go for that straight angle, or you can go for that side that side curve like that. Make sure you're cooking a little piece for yourself on the side so you can taste the food. <laughs> I think I um, got this pan at uh, home goods. I think it might be one of the lodges, I'm not sure. So I'm going to go ahead and continue uh, to cook um, this and I'll show you guys when I flip this so you guys can see the different angle of, of, the, of the grill mark. Okay? Okay, friends, I cooked this one on a medium, medium lowish heat because it got really hot for me. And ta da! Look at that. You don't want to be outside in that heat to get some good grilling and a good flavor. I'm so excited for you guys to try this. I can't wait for you guys to come back and let me know what you thought. I'll see you shortly when I'm done cooking all of our, uh, our fajita meat. Okay, friends, that's how you make the best fajita recipe. This is good whether you grill it, you put it on your pan, or even if you want to put it in the oven, it's still going to be that delicious. Now let's give it a taste because I can't resist. I've been actually taking little bites. Mmm. I only marinated it for an hour, and the flavor that's coming out of this beef is amazing. Mmm, that's so good. If you guys want the recipe for the tortillas, make sure for flour tortillas or corn tortillas, make sure that you're watching all the recipes for the tortillas because there's a lot of tips in every single one of them that I have out. I'm gonna link them in the description area for you. We have some salsa verde if you wanna accompany this with, but I think you guys are gonna like what you guys see next. So I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me. If you're new to the channel, please take the time to subscribe and click that bell for notifications. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And if you guys try this, please come back and let me know what you thought. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Adios.